Lake levels continue to drop in the southeast due to the ongoing drought. Tonight, in a live report, learn what communities are doing to get water from the lake in these dry days in the scorched southeast. Hello and welcome back to Weather Center. I'm Vivian Brown. I'm Dave Schwartz. You know, we, we think of water as being just uh, an inexhaustible commodity. You yeah. know, it's going to be there whenever we turn Abundant. on the tap. Mm -hmm. But such is not the case. Mm -hmm. And La Nina season, the southern half of the country is liable to stay dry for a while. Mm -hmm. Good to see you. I'm Dave Schwartz. Let's take a look at that uh, forecast. Let's not be as dire as this, huh? Let's get on through the week. We've got uh, more short-term goals to meet, like maybe the soccer practice or just going to the store and picking up a quart of milk or soy milk or almond drink or whatever you like. There are going to be some showers around the Great Lakes states and the Northeast Wednesday and Thursday. And, uh, you know, I just have a feeling that I'm in that picture somewhere, and there I am. <laughs> Weird. Um, the Southwest, some isolated thunder showers from a storm that's sitting on the West Coast. You know, the last week we've had a lot of stormy weather here in the middle of the country this big ridge of high pressure built and it got so hot well that's all changed now 